Hey guys, welcome to this video. I've just finished a stream this morning and I'm moving on to talking about trading stocks. If you want to get my free trading underneath, guys, just click the link below. It's right there. So I don't normally look at different stocks. You can see in the NASDAQ here, we've got the Tesla uh, ticker, TSLA. Uh, lots of people are posting about Tesla for all kinds of reasons, but mainly uh, when I trade stocks, I don't mostly post about stocks, but when I trade them personally, there's two things I look out for, um, and it's pretty much um, earnings slash performance slash size, okay, and it's tech analysis, because you need both of them to pick a long-term trade and do it at the right time. Your technical analysis part two really just tells you exactly where you want to enter. And number one tells you the overall market sentiment slash direction. So number one, what does it do? Well, it's fundamental analysis effectively, but when you see positivity come in the market, okay, you start to get these rises in value. Now, of course, for something to go up long term, it has to have a continued uh, overall, um, you know, good performance or growing earnings a lot of the time. That's why people invest. That's why they continue to invest. It doesn't matter if in between um, the earnings might drop, particularly that's why you see dips. Um, but overall, you can see growth in the company. That's what attracts people to invest is growth because investors like to see growth to get an overall positive sentiment. If there's no growth and someone says to you, okay, well, I'm losing a million dollars every day, um, do you want to invest? You start to hesitate. So you need good overall market sentiment, you need growing earnings, and in between those growing earnings, when you have a dip back, you might find yourself a tech level, okay? Or a technical analysis level. Now, these tech levels rely on uh, previous price action, much like what we look for when we're trading anything else. You can see with your Tesla, you just point up here and that candle wick is rejected. Now, what's really interesting with Tesla at the moment is that on your bottom side, you get this candle wick to the downside. So you've created this range, essentially, this natural range has been formed right here, okay? Where this line comes there, resting on that 100 MA, and then where you find price peaking up. Now, the reason why you know people are getting long is because this candle is immediately full bodied and green. It has hardly dropped, and you can see there's positive impetus to the upside. So, anyone who took that long, you might decide to liquidate slightly higher than your previous falling level because this level you've fallen to now is so immediate and it has provided upside bias. Okay? So, Again, that would have been your technical level to get long. You might have done it lightly because the price had hardly dipped. You can see there's further tech levels lower down near these key MAs. But overall, when you're picking a stock to trade, you want um, overall underlying good sentiment, so long-term uh, growth bias mixed in with key price action levels. And those are the places where you've seen rejection before and you're happy to either enter or you're happy to liquidate those trades. Like you might have found you liquidated here, that's what a lot of people would have done. Hence, that's why you see this market fall. So both those factors fundamentally and technically are equally as important. You need that overall underlying sentiment to tell you that it's a growing um, company and you need to be getting long at the right times where you've got technical analysis zones or tech long zones, if you like. So anytime I'm trading, I'm looking for stocks where I've seen positive performance over time. And within that, there's something that brings the stock down, whatever it may be, and it takes me to a tech level so I can re-long and continue that upwards trajectory. Normally that comes with things that you can see as sustainable or have been around for a fair amount of time, like you can see is the case with Tesla. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that really helps. As always, underneath is my free training. And I'll see you in the next one. See you there.